So in this video we're going to take a walk along the three beaches over here in Pegara and I'm down here on Playa Romana. Now the last time I was in Pegara was on the weekend, it was very very quiet down here and very very lovely but I'm actually here on the Friday morning and as you can hear behind me we can hear a considerable amount of drilling. Now that is due to the renovations taking place on the Happy Mag Resort down here so before we head along the beach let's just head back towards the car park and check out what is going on down here with all this building work on Playa Romana. So we can see quite a few tourists on the beach this morning but if you are in Pegara during June then this may well be what you can expect if you're heading towards Playa Romana on this side of Pegara. Now I'm pretty sure it's a very different story on the, along the other beaches in the resort but we'll go and check that out later. But let's see how these renovations are coming along. Now if you've been following my channel over here and if you saw my latest live stream you'll know that this whole entire area belongs to the Happy Mag Resort Complex. It's had an entire renovation over here. They've completely ripped it apart and they're currently putting it back together as well and I'm sure it's going to be very nice when it's finished. I can't imagine it's going to be finished for this summer. It might well be finished for 2024. But are these renovations that are going to disturb your day out on the beach on Playa Romana? Well, let's go down and let's go and find out. Now, the renovations over at the Happy Mag are quite extensive as well. You're going to remember they had a lovely restaurant here. It's a Soto Ventor restaurant and bar. This is undergoing complete renovations too. Now, as I come further along the beach here, I can still hear that drilling. But thankfully, the further along the beach we head along from Playa Romana, the more you can just hear the sounds of the sea. And look, just looking out, you can see the blue skies and these rain clouds coming in towards Pegara from Andrach here. And also, if you check out the sea line too, which you can see just here. Now, the Mediterranean isn't tidal. We don't have tides here, but you can see the huge deluges of rain that we've had and the storms we've had have brought some rather large waves maybe over here to Bagheera. You can see they've crept their way up the beach. Let's hope that these storms die down now as we, we are heading on towards the summer months. So I'm filming this on a Friday and Bagheera Resort is actually quite busy with visitors coming over here. Got quite a few people in the sea today. So while we're down here, I thought I'd just take a quick look along Playa Gran Tora Beach here. And let's head on over very quickly as well to Playa Palmira Beach, which is the next beach along from here as well, just to see how absolutely gorgeous it is here this morning. Now I absolutely love this little shaded area here with the pine trees, it offers some fantastic shade during the summer months. I'm just going to look back at Playa Gran Tora, absolutely stunning here this morning. Now you can just see why this end of the beach is so popular. Check out the views from here, you're going to really appreciate these restaurants over the hot summer months. We are waiting for those hot summer months to arrive here in Mallorca, I have to say. We've had a bit of a strange start to the summer season this year. But we've got highs down here of around 23 or 24 degrees. And for many, this time of year is just the perfect time to book a holiday. So coming up to our next set of tourist shops here, we're going to take a, a left down the path down towards Playa Palmira. If you want to know how to get here, check out my latest live stream from Pagera. It will show you the, the exact route from Playa Gran Tora Beach. And as you come down the path here, this is the point that you enter Playa Palmira. And check out how absolutely beautiful and stunning it is down here. Now 
I'm just looking up above the mountains here and coming over from Andrach it does look like we have a little bit of rain coming in but I can see there are a lot of visitors down here making the most of the fantastic weather that we have in Pagera this morning. Let's go and head along the beach. So it's not quite lunchtime yet. The restaurants are just starting to open now and prepare for lunchtime service. But Bagheera is looking rather busy down here for June, which is fantastic to see. It's a nice time of year to come actually, if you're looking at booking next year. So while it looks really busy over at the far end of Bagheera Beach, we've got quite a lot of uh, space around this side of Playa Palmira. Let's keep walking along. So we're just cupping up to the side of Palmyra Beach where there's a boardwalk going onto the sand as well. There's a shaded area I can see. There's a wheelchair access as well for the sea if you are in a wheelchair. And that's right in front of the main lifeguard tower here. So we're just coming up past the restaurant beach club here. Pretty good value in here actually. I've seen they've got uh, burgers and pizzas and walks from around 11 euros. So that's not too bad. So we can see the beach finishes just a little further along here. You've got some more restaurants and bars to my right hand side. We're going to head on up these steps now. We're going to head on up to the high street here in Pagera. Now the one thing that I do love about this resort is that the, the main road and the main street is actually set back from the beaches as well, which means it is very quiet down here on Pagera Beach. And I'm just going to look back at the beach here absolutely stunning and it's absolutely beautiful but if you want any other bars and restaurants or shops then this is where you come and that's up to the high street now it does get very very busy down here on the evening as well and actually you can see it's quite busy down here during the day got a fantastic selection of shops restaurants bars as well as things to rent like these amazing sports cars just in front of me Now I'm just turning around to have a look at some prices at a little Spanish bar over here. Two euros for a canya. You also do a coffee and a croissant for around three euros sixty as well. Worth knowing if you're over here and you want to stop out for a quick drink. So we're going to take a quick left down towards Playa Gran Torre Beach. Okay everyone, that's just a very quick look at Pagera today. I hope this gives you an idea of what you can expect if you're coming over here this June. Okay everyone, don't forget you can find me in the Facebook group and on my Instagram, also called Mallorca Under the Sun. I have more information on my website on MallorcaUnderTheSun.com, so go and check that out. If you want to check out more videos from this area, then do click on these links appearing on YouTube. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Goodbye for now.